Welcome. Begin in Balasana in child's pose. Spread your knees to the width of your mat and lower your hips to your heels. Allow your forehead to relax into the mat, bringing your arms out in front of you and your fingertips to touch. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and begin to cultivate a deep, slow, even breath in and out the nose. On every inhalation, expanding the belly with your breath. On every exhalation, creating a wave-like sound in the back of your throat. Closing your mouth, breathing only in and out the nose for the remainder of the practice. Breathe into the belly, the front ribs, the side ribs, the heart lifts. Breathe out slowly and evenly, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe into the low back, middle back, the back of the heart expands. Breathe out slowly and evenly, relaxing any tension in your shoulders. Continue to rest here, focusing on long, deep breaths, expanding your belly and your entire rib cage on every inhalation, relaxing deeper with each exhalation. Today we will be doing a yin fusion class, alternating slow, deep, long holds in the typical yin fashion with fiery, heating, challenging postures. Do what you can. If it is ever too much, relax your hips to your heels and return here to Balasana. Pay attention to how everything feels in your body and do what feels best for you. Slowly shift your palms down onto the mat and come up into tabletop. Bring your shoulders directly over your wrists. Slide your knees back a bit, creating a long line of energy from your hips up through your shoulders. Either stay here, or if you want more of a challenge, lift up onto the tops of the feet, creating a long line from the crown of the head out through the tippy toes. You can either retain your long, deep, slow breath or begin a breath of fire here, exhaling forcibly outside of the nose, pumping the stomach in towards the spine. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly, and begin. Engage your abs, pulling your navel in towards your spine, ensuring that your low back is pressing up. If the breath of fire ever becomes too much, just return to the long, deep, slow breath in and out of the nose. If you need to release your knees down to the mat, you can do so. Otherwise, keep going. You're almost there. Release your knees down to the mat. Inhale deeply. 
Hold the breath and exhale slowly. Hold here, cultivating a deep, slow breath in and out the nose. Slowly shift your hips back, bringing your hips directly over your knees, walking your arms out in front of you and lowering your forehead down to the mat for Anahata. Opening the heart here passively, spread your fingers wide and bring your hips back a little farther and your hands forward a little more than you think that you should creating a line between the hips and the knees. Sink your forehead into the mat and continue to breathe deeply and slowly in and out the nose. Every inhalation, expanding the breath from the low back to the middle back, the back of the heart lifting, expanding. Every exhalation, relaxing the shoulders down your spine away from your ears. Slowly, like you're moving through honey, glide the chest forward and lower down onto your belly. Spread your fingers wide and bring them to either side of your chest. This will be an active yang pose, so engage the legs so much that your knees lift up off the mat. Pressing your hips and the tops of your feet into the mat. Minimal weight in the palms of the hands. Lift the heart. 
rolling your shoulders down your spine, lifting up through the heart, relaxing and rolling your shoulders back, engaging the abdominals and beginning a breath of fire here. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly and begin. On every exhalation, pumping the navel in towards the spine. The inhalation is passive. Relax your shoulders, only engaging in pumping the belly with the breath. If this breath is too much for you, just do the Ujjayi breath, inhaling deeply and slowly in and out the nose creating a wave-like sound in the back of your throat. This is a tough one, so if you need to bring your forehead down to the mat to rest, do so, and then come back up again. Keep with it. Check your legs. Are they engaged? Your knees raised above the mat, pressing into the hip bones, pressing into the tops of the feet, minimal weight in the palms of the hands, lifting the chest and ensuring that the shoulders haven't crept up towards your ears. See where you can relax, even in the intensity of this pose. You just have a few more seconds left. You can do it. Inhale deeply, hold the breath, and exhale, lowering your forehead down to your hands. Relax every muscle of your body. Then look forward, lift the hips, gliding them forward, bringing your right knee in between your hands. Walk your fingertips forward, coming into Sleeping Swan. Either stay up on your fingertips, bringing the hips parallel to one another. If one hip is back and the other one forward, you can bring a bolster or a block or a pillow underneath your hips so you can square them to the front of the mat. Relaxing into sleeping swan, bringing your forearms perhaps to the mat and turning your palms up to the sky allowing your head to hang or bringing your forehead down to the mat and sweeping your fingertips out in front of you. Arrange your body, perhaps curling your toes under, shifting your hips back for a deeper stretch and then settle into stillness. Resist the urge to fidget or move. Allow your body and your thoughts to grow still as your breath grows deeper, slower, and fuller.
ever so slowly begin to rise up like you're moving through maple syrup. Moving slowly so as not to disrupt your nervous system, gliding your right knee back, settling down onto your belly and bringing your elbows out in front of you like they're on railroad tracks for Sphinx Pose. Spread your fingers wide, pulling your heart forward in between your hands, relaxing your shoulder blades along your spine down towards your hips. Breathing deeply and slowly here. And then beginning the fire breath once again. Pumping the navel rapidly in towards the spine. Cultivating a fire and heat in the belly. Pressing your legs actively down into the mat. Pulling your hands back towards you as you push your heart forward. Take a deep, slow breath in, hold it, and exhale. Inhale, deeply expanding the breath from your belly up your side body as you curl your toes under and shift your hips back, your knees forward, bringing your left knee forward into sleeping swan. Bringing your hips parallel to the front of the mat, you can always take a bolster, rolled up blanket or pillow underneath your hips so that they square to the front of the mat. Either staying up on fingertips or lowering down onto your elbows, turning your palms up to the sky and allowing your head to hang. Either stay here or in your own time, stretching your arms out in front of you and lowering your forehead down to the mat. Bring your attention to the stillness you are cultivating in your body and in your mind. Allow your thoughts to still as your attention comes to the present moment. On each deep, slow inhale, on each slow, relaxing exhale out the nose.
On your next inhalation, glide up, bringing your hands in and bringing the left knee back to the right. Moving any props aside, spreading your fingers wide and then lifting your hips up to the sky. Press actively out of your arms, lengthening your spine, bending your knees, finding more space between each vertebrae of your spine. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, release. Breathe in, sweep the right leg up. Breathe out, lower it with control to the floor. Breathe in, sweep the left leg up. Breathe out, lower it with control to the floor. Continue in your own rhythm of your own breath. On the inhalation, lifting the leg up to the sky. On the exhalation, lowering it with control down to the mat. Continue alternating legs for the next two minutes. If you need a break, lowering the knees and sitting back into Balasana. Lift each leg one last time and then slowly lowering your knees down to the mat, organizing your mat so that you have some padding underneath your knees. And we will flow with the left leg forward in between your hands, lowering the right knee down to the mat Then bending the right knee, reaching back with your left hand for the inside edge of the right foot. Rolling your heart open, twisting towards the left. Lift the heart up towards the sky and glide your shoulder blades down your spine. Every inhalation, finding a bit more length in the spine, every exhalation, pressing the foot into the hand, opening the heart and twisting towards the left.
On your next exhalation, release the foot, gliding your hand down to the inside of your left foot and sweeping the left knee back to meet the right. Stretching the hips to the heels to Balasana for one breath, releasing the low back. On your next inhalation, press into the palms of the hands and sweep the right foot forward. Bending the left knee, take the right hand to the inside edge of the left foot. Ensure your right knee is directly above your right ankle. On your inhalation, lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head. On your exhalation, twisting open to the right, pressing the foot into the hand. Broaden across the chest, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, retaining length in the spine, perhaps lifting your heart, lifting your head up towards the sky. Breathing deeply, slowly, and rhythmically in and out of the nose, settling into the stillness. On your next exhalation, release the foot, bringing your right hand to the inside of your right foot, shifting yourself around on the mat so you can open up your legs wide in a V. Coming into dragonfly, spreading the legs wide, bringing a pillow out in front of you, or stacking two pillows, one on top of the other. Place your Pour arms down onto the pillow, turning your palms up to the sky and relax and release the head. Flexing the feet up towards the sky, allowing the hips to grow heavy, your sitting bones to root down. Cultivating a deep, slow breath in and out the nose here. On every inhalation, expanding the breath into your belly. Side waist, the heart lifts. Every exhalation, allowing the body to open for you to dive deeper into the pose. Be patient and loving with your body. Breathe yourself open. With time, you may walk the pillow forward a little bit. Perhaps eventually bringing your forehead down to the mat or your cheek to the mat, spreading your fingers out towards your feet. On every inhalation, expanding your lungs to the front, side, 
and back. Every exhalation, releasing and relaxing even deeper. Wherever you are at, come up halfway and pause. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, roll up to sitting with a tall spine. Glide your hands to your thighs and roll them down and back behind you. Then sweep your right leg forward to meet the left, and lower down onto your back. Relaxing here for a moment, allowing your body to settle. The next sequence is very challenging, so just do what you can. You can bring your fingers, your hands underneath your low back, or sweep your arms back behind you for more of a challenge. Bringing your feet straight up to the sky, lift, and then lower your ankles down to hover above the mat, and then sweep your feet up to the sky, reach your fingers towards your ankles. Lower your feet slowly towards the floor any amount and then sweep them up. Continue at your own pace in your own rhythm, keeping the low back pressed down into the mat or into your hands. You can injure your low back if you do not keep it pressed down actively into the mat. If at any point this is too much, simply keep your feet Press straight up to the sky and breathe evenly and deeply in and out the nose.
On your next exhalation, bend the knees, pull them into your chest, take a deep breath in and lower your feet down to the mat. Then glide your right foot out at an angle and cross your left angle over the right. Bring your arms up above you and clasp opposite elbows. You're creating a banana-like shape with your body. Bringing your, your right elbow over towards your right ankles. Allowing your left hip to grow heavy and fall down towards the floor. Take a minute to arrange yourself so that you're comfortable and then glide into stillness. Breathing deeply in and out the nose. Inhaling into the belly. Exhaling slowly and smoothly, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Inhaling into your left hip, your left side waist, your heart expanding. Exhale slowly and evenly out the nose. On your next inhalation, bend the knees and bring your feet to the mat. Lengthen and straighten your spine. Release your arms to your sides. Then glide up to sitting. Press your hands into the mat and lift your heart up. Then slowly lower down onto your elbows. Lifting your heart up, lift your feet out at an angle. We're going to cultivate a breath of fire here if you're comfortable with the breath still. Rapidly pumping the navel, the belly button into the spine with each exhalation, the inhalation is passive. At any point you can bend your knees, bringing them parallel to the floor. Or if you want more of a challenge in straightening the legs straight out in a V. Press actively down into your forearms, into your elbows, lifting your chest. Continuing your breath of fire or your deep, slow, rhythmic Ujjayi breath.
Release your fire breath. Inhale deeply, hold the breath. And exhale, lowering the feet down to the floor. Gliding down onto your back. Pressing into the feet, gliding the hips over towards the right. Bringing your left foot out at an ankle and crossing your legs. Gliding your arms up above you, clasping elbows and bringing your left elbow towards your left ankles, creating a banana-like shape with your body. Allow your right hip to grow heavy. Inhale deeply into your right hip, your right side waist, the heart expands. Exhale, allowing all tension to dissolve and melt. On your next inhalation, bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat, unclasp your elbows and straighten your spine. Bring your fingers to your belly and sweep your feet straight up to the sky. This is our last challenging pose, extending the legs up towards the ceiling. On every inhalation, expanding the belly out into your fingertips. Every exhalation, actively pulling the navel down towards the mat, hollowing the belly, pressing the low back down into the floor. Don't worry if your legs start to shake, you're detoxing and strengthening your body. If this ever becomes too much, simply bend your knees into your chest, hugging your knees in towards your heart. If you want more of a challenge, you can glide your feet a little farther out in front of your hips, creating an ever so slight V shape with your legs.
On your next exhalation, bending your knees in towards your chest, hugging your knees in towards your heart, releasing the low back. Beautiful. Be proud of the work you did for your body, for your well-being today, for your courage to get very still and silent with yourself, healing, detoxing, and opening up yourself and your body. Gently begin to roll side to side here, continuing to work out any kinks in your low back. When you are ready, slowly glide up to sitting, either by rolling up or by sweeping up. Then grab your pillows, stack either one or two pillows on top of each other, bring them back behind your hips, and then glide back onto the pillows. Opening your arms out to the side, bringing the soles of your feet together to touch, allowing your knees to grow heavy down towards the mat. If this is too much of a stretch for your knees, you can place a bolster or a block under your left and right knee. Allow the heart to open here. Breathing deeply and slowly in and out the nose. Slowly glide back up to sitting, remove your pillows away from you, taking one pillow underneath your knees and gliding back into Shavasana, arranging your body so comfortably that everything becomes deeply relaxed and still.
wishing you radiant joy and health. Namaste.